So I couldn't talk about surds without showing you this really cool thing, an infinite nested radical. We're going to get to operate with infinity. So check this out. Uh, let's start off with a big square root sign here. And I'm going to put the number, uh, let's start with a 2. So the square root of 2, that's about 1.4. But I'm not just going to do the square root of 2, I'm going to do the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 2. And you can see it's all inside each other. And actually, this is going to go on forever. So just imagine plus 6, the square root of 2, plus 6 times the square root of 2, plus 6 times the square root of 2, but forever, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It would seem like you couldn't come up with an, with a, you couldn't simplify this, but you can. It's really cool. So the word for this is an infinite nested radical. Infinite goes on forever, nested inside each other. Radical is just another word for a square root sign. So square root of 2, square root of 5, whatever. That's a, Radical is just the square root sign. Okay, so let's start solving it. Let's just say it's equal to x. Well, if we work from the outside in, the first thing is this square root. And we can undo a square root by squaring both sides. So that means that x squared, squared this side, is equal to 2 plus 6, the square root of 2 plus 6, the square root of 2 plus 6, the square root of 2, forever and ever and ever and ever. It doesn't feel like we've made any progress because we've still got this forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, what can we do next? Well, the next thing here, you can see we've got this 2 here. So we can subtract 2 from both sides. x squared minus 2 equals subtract 2 from this side. We have plus 6, positive 6, square root 2 plus 6 square root 2 plus 6 square root 2 forever and ever and ever and ever. Again, it seems like we're not making any progress because we've just got this forever and ever and ever and everything. Uh, okay, this says 6 times this. Uh, Okay, so I can divide both sides by 6. x squared minus 2 divided by 6 is equal to the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 2 forever and ever and ever and ever. Where's the progress? We haven't made any progress. We're not getting anywhere. But this is magic. This is the magical bit. This is the bit I love x squared minus 2 over 6 equals this. But look, this statement right here is equal to the original statement here. Square root 2 plus 6 square root 2 plus 6 square root 2 plus 6 square root 2 is equal to root 2 plus 6 square root 2. These are the same. The pink thing up here and this blue thing here, they are the same. And the pink thing up here is equal to to x. So something magic happens here. x squared minus 2 over 6 is equal to x. Holy moly! Just like that, we've gone from this infinite thing to this very simple tiny little expression here. x squared minus 2 over 6 equals x, which means that x squared minus 2 equals 6x, just multiplying both sides by 6. And then I can rearrange this. x squared minus 6x minus 2 equals 0. And what I have here is a quadratic. And depending on where you are with your mathematical education, you'll know how to solve a quadratic using the quadratic formula or using completing the square. There's my quadratic formula, and I'll put in my a, b, and c, val c values. So it looks something like that now. Simplifying, we get this. And simplifying further, we get 6 plus or minus the square root of 44 over 2. And of course, we can simplify that further, because we can see that third would simplify to 6 plus or minus... Uh, 2 root 11 over 2. And finally, finishing, 
can divide this term and this term both by 2 because we've got this 2 on the bottom. 3 plus or minus root 11. Now, does that mean I've got two answers? Does that mean that this equals 3 plus root 11 and 3 minus root 11? No, we have to reject one of those answers because it doesn't make sense. The square root of a positive number, and this is a positive number, will be a positive number. So we reject the negative number. We get 3 plus root 11. 3 plus root 11 is equal to all of this. We've taken the infinite and turned it into a very simple number. Hopefully you can tell I really love this. I love, love, love this. I love this picture. I love the fact that we've gone from this thing and then we've been able to like put it inside of itself to create. I cannot believe you end up here. You go from here to here and I just love that. All right, that is an infinite nested radical.